I'm always excited to have you on this platform. I welcome every learner here today. Today we shall be looking at factors of production. At the end of today's lesson, the learners should be able to explain the meaning of production, define factors of production, list and explain factors of production, explain the features and importance of all the factors of production. What is production? Production can be defined as a transformation of raw materials into finished goods or products. It is concerned with all the legal activities which are directed towards the satisfaction of human wants. What are factors of production? Factors of production can be defined as the basic resources or agents used for producing goods and services. Factors of production make it possible for goods to be produced in their required quantity and quality. The factors of production are land, level, capital, and entrepreneur. Now, we shall look at these factors of production. We shall explain them one by one and also look at their features and their importance. Let's start with land. Land as a factor of production. Land is a free gift of nature. It refers to the resources provided by nature to aid the production of goods and services. Examples of land are rivers, farmlands, seas, the fishes in them, forest minerals such as coal, crude oil, iron, etc. Others are the climatic condition like rainfall, sunshine, animals, and many more. Features or characteristics of land. Land is geographically immobile. That is, the location of land cannot be changed. It is fixed. Land can be, land can appreciate or depreciate in value. The value of land varies from one location to another. It is a free gift of nature. It is abundant in some areas and scarce in some areas. Land is heterogeneous in quality, differing from one place to another in topography, soil texture, and structure, and also in soil fertility. The supply of land is limited and is also subject to diminishing returns. Availability of land is subject to land use acts or law. It is its suitability influences output. This is exactly what we mean. Now, if a land, the better a land for the production of certain produce, the better the output. For example, if you have to cultivate crops on a land that the nutrients, contents are very low, the harvest, which is the outputs, will not be something that that farmer will appreciate. So its suitability influences output. It can be used as collateral for loan. If a farmer desires to collect loan from bank and he has a loan of land, he can use land as a collateral to collect loan from the bank. The reward for land is rent. Uses of land. Production of food crops. Land is used for the production of food crops such as yam, rice, and many of them. And also 
livestock production plant can be used for rearing of livestock. Land is used for forestry, which involves the management of forests and its resources for man's use. Land can also be used for conservation of wildlife. Land can also be used for production of fish, which is also known as fishery. Land can also be used for non-agricultural purposes. For example, residential construction of houses and buildings, transportation, construction of roads, bridges, railways, and many more. It can also be used for mining, labor as a factor of production. Labor is the mental or physical efforts of man, which is directed towards the production of goods and services. Examples of labor are the work of farmers, carpenters, teachers, policemen, anyone that engage in physical and mental effort in order to produce something new or to offer services, that person is said to be involved in labor. Now, what are the features of labor? What are the characteristics of labor? Labor is mobile. It can move from one location to another. For example, a, a, a teacher can move from Nigeria to any other country and offer his or her service as a teacher. Labor controls other factors of production. Yes, without labor, other factors of production may not be realized. Labor has feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has feelings. Because labor directly involves human. And that is the reason why in agriculture, when it's come to mechanized farming, mechanized farming has better output than the other local farming. Why? You know, Human can get sick. Human can break down instantly because labor involves feeling. Now, labor requires motivation. And that is the reason why, you see, people are paid for their services. People are given incentives for their services because labor requires motivation. Labor is not fixed. It can't be the same. The, the money that is paid for a particular service in another in one country may not be the same in a different country because labor is not fixed. Now labor is human factor. The reward of labor is wage. Sources of labor. We have personal labor. Someone can be involved in labor, personal labor family labor, hired labor, community labor. Importance of labor. It converts natural resources into products. Skilled labor provides expertise required for major farm operations. It provides services required at various stages of agricultural production. It provides the human power used for carrying out manual labor on the farm. Now let's look at uh, capital as factor of production. Capital is defined as the man-made asset used in production. It is man-made wealth used in production of other goods. Capital as a factor of production includes all materials, material resources, excluding land, or stock of wealth used productively. Capital is used in all production except in the most primitive form. It's paid, for example, is a capital, a gardener or a farmer. Machinery, 
factories, railways, roads, producers of stock materials, equipment, and partly finished or unfinished products are considered as capital. Features of capital or characteristics of capital. Capital is man-made. Capital is durable. It promotes division of labor. Capital exists in different forms. We can have uh, uh, cash as capital. We can have asset as capital. Land can also be considered as capital because it can be used to obtain collateral from the bank. So it can be used, it can also be considered as a capital. Now, capital can be created by an excess of production over consumption. Very true. If we choose production over consumption, capital can be created. There are some countries, they are just consumer countries. They can't produce anything. Their, their focus is more on consumption than production. So capital can be created by an excess of production over consumption. Capital must be maintained because it deteriorates with age and use. A proportion of the value of the land is capital factor of production due to addition of fertilizer, fencing, drainage, and many more. Yields and income in the form of improved production. Capital can yield an income in the form of improved production. Now, capital is mobile in the long run, but specific moderately. Capital must be presented by saving. It must be represented Capital must be represented by savings. Ownership can be separated from control of its uses. Roundabout process of production makes stocks in warehouses and shops capital. The reward of capital is interest. Okay, now let's look at types of capital. You know, we say capital can be in different forms. We have physical or tangible capital. The material things which are used as inputs in the production of future goods are called tangible capitals. The major categories of tangible capitals are office buildings, power plants, factories, warehouses, machines, inventories of, of inputs, roads, highway, and many more. Remember, the material things which are used as input in production of future goods are called tangible capitals. Intangible capitals. Intangible capitals consist of non-material things that contribute to the output of future goods and services. These are human capital, structural capital, relationship, strategic capitals. For example, investment by a firm in advertising to establish a brand name or establishing a training program for employees to increase their skill. That is human capital. It's an Impute and so included in capital. Functions of capital. Capital provides equipment which help in process of economic development. An increase in the stock of capital goods like machinery, factories, equipment and the rest enhances the growth of output per capital and consequently the income and capital is raised. The accumulation of capital makes the labor better equipped and delays the operation of law of diminishing returns in agriculture and industry to a great extent. Capital determines the quantity and also the composition of outputs 
in the economy. Capital puts the economy on the path to development. It results in technology and discoveries. The availability of capital helps in the creation of employment opportunities in the country. Capital adds value to the products. An increase in the stock of capital, once initiated, feeds on itself. Entrepreneur or management as factor of production. Management or entrepreneur as a factor of production is human ability to combine all other factors of production adequately to optimize profits. Or it can also be said that is the ability to coordinate, organize, and control other factors of production. Now, it is concerned with making decisions such as what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, what method of production to use, when to sell the produce, and how to sell what has been produced. Features or characteristics of management or entrepreneur. It is neither variable nor fixed. The cost of management is determined by its quality. It involves the use of mental energy in production. The truth is that that is the reason why you see in offices, those people in management cadre, they earn more than people that use their, 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 their physical effort to offer services. The reason is because management involves the use of mental energy. Now, its quality influences outputs and the, its reward is profit. The reward of management is profit. Importance of management. It arranges for the provision of finance for undertaking the production process. It bears the risk or accept the responsibility for success or failure. It arranges for the marketing of the produce, proceeds from the farm. It maximizes profits. Management maximizes profit. That's one of the major parts of management. It knows how to maximize profit. Now, it minimizes cost of production. One major point also here. Now, it's, it's, resp it's responsible for day-to-day decision-making on the farm. Assessment. Number one, what is production? Number one, A. Number one, B. What are factors of production? Number two, a list of four factors of production. Number two, B. Explain any two factors of production listed in 2A above. Number three, list for futures and importance of the following factors of production. One, land. Two, labor. Three, management. If you find it difficult to answer these assessment questions, go over the video again. It will be so simple and easy for you to get. Thank you for being on this platform.